Alright guys, welcome back to the course. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about MIDI keyboards and how you use MIDI keyboards inside of FS Studio. So first, let's go to the options and MIDI settings. So as soon as you have your MIDI keyboard connected to your computer, it should list in this input list here. And as you can see, here is my MIDI keyboard. It's called iRig Keys 37. It's a very nice portable MIDI keyboard that I use when I'm on the go. And if you just have your MIDI keyboard listed here, that means that FS Studio has found it and you can use it if it's enabled like this. So it should be green here and if it is green, you can use it. And some of the MIDI keyboards are supported by FS Studio. And you can use, let's say you have a Korg Nano Key MIDI keyboard here. If you choose this, all of the different presets that come, so let, let's say that the knobs and all of the different things that are physically on the MIDI keyboard will be supported inside of FS Studio. If your MIDI keyboard isn't listed here, you can use the generic controller, which will make it work, but you will have to set up all of the different knobs, every single physical input on your MIDI keyboard, you will have to set it up manually. And it's very easy to do that, I will show you this as well in, the, in this video. So, as soon as you have this Im input here and it's enabled, you can use it inside FL Studio. If you want to have output signal from your MIDI keyboard, and if that MIDI keyboard is supporting that, you can just choose it here in the list and choose Send Master Sync. But that is not what I'm going to use with my MIDI keyboard, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Sometimes, if you connect your MIDI keyboard and you don't see it in the list, just hit the refresh devi device list and it should list here. Sometimes you have different MIDI controllers connected to your computer. Let's say you have a drum pad that you want the drums to be, uh, that you can just play around with the drums, and then you have a MIDI keyboard that is more kind of like a piano, or piano and different synth sounds to be played with that MIDI keyboard. You can use multiple MIDI keyboards within FS Studio. It's very easy to do that as well. You just Select the MIDI keyboard, just press enable, then go to the next one, press enable, and that will work uh, as well. You can also separate these MIDI keyboards. So let's say that you only want to play, let's say, one uh, plugin or one instrument with a drum pad MIDI controller, and then you want, let's say, only piano sounds to be played with your MIDI keyboard. You can do that as well. So if we just go out of this settings here, and let's say that you want to um, have this 3x oscillator plugin just being played by your MIDI keyboard. You can do that by just right click here and go to receive notes from, and here you will see all of the different MIDI keyboards or MIDI controllers. So now you can just choose the MIDI controller here and you can set if you want all of the MIDI channels. So let's say you want uh, all of the different th things you can do on your MIDI controller and be set to just this plugin here. You do it by going to receive notes from and just choosing all here. All right, so let's take a look at the manual assigning of different knobs and different physical inputs on your MIDI controller. You can do that. You can choose what you want to uh, operate with a physical, let's say a knob or a physical input on your MIDI controller. So if I open up this plugin here, I do it, do this very random here. Let's say that I want to have this knob here controlled by a knob on my MIDI controller. I can do that by just right click here, go to link to controller, and now just move whatever physic input you have on your MIDI controller that you want to have this link to. Just move it, and now you can see it's moving that knob here and I do it physically with my MIDI controller now. Let's say I want this knob here to be controlled by another MIDI knob that I have here on my MIDI controller. Just go to link to controller again. Just set up like that. Now you can see I have my two physical knobs here. So it's very easy to use as well. And Sometimes you can't really right click and see this menu here. Let's say if you're on a third party plugin. So um, let's actually load up a third party plugin here. Let's go here. I'm going to use my uh, Serum plugin, which is a very nice plugin. And let's say that I want this to be controlled here. I don't really see that 
I can do MIDI learn, of course, but uh, I can't really see this parameter here. So what you can do here is to just touch the parameter that you want to be controlled by some input on your MIDI controller. And then you go to tools and last tweaked. So now you can see the parameter here, serum B uniblend, which was our knob there. And now I can go to link to controller and just link it. Let's say that you want to get rid of one of the different links to the MIDI controller. You can do that by go to the browser here, go to current project and remote control. And now you can see all of the different links here. So you can just click on one of them and just press reset and that should go away. All right, guys. So that was it for this lecture. Let's see you in the next one.